know y'all so coming back out of Hope County so I'm getting into the swing of things with this lift so looks like I'm now picking up people at the airport regularly or in this um, case I actually dropped somebody off at the airport somebody who stays down the street from me dropped them off at the airport only to also pick somebody up at the airport and then took them all the way to Hope County. And then I was like, oh shit. Now I'm in the midst of an $18 street right? which means if I do three, you know, pickups in a row, I get $18 on top of this. So I was like, damn. The bad side with them being in Hope County is if somebody pings in Hope County, I don't have no choice but the darn going to accept it. And it's going to get me further into the darn going in the country and I'm trying to get back here but fortunately the people that I picked up the last set of folks they was actually coming all the way to Hope Mills matter of fact um, they was already in Hope Mills but they pushed me further towards Hope Mills going towards Camden so that worked out in my favor was able to navigate right on back to Fayetteville within a matter of about 15 minutes so ooh, that was swift so I done hit both of my peaks for the day I done got an extra $30 so $74 for the day driving for a total of 3 hours and some change so 20 some dollars an hour although without the darn going peak honey this shit wouldn't be worth it honey it's not worth it. Because when I look at this shit, I was like, oh my goodness. I would be making minimum wage if it was not for this darn gold peak bonus. Ain't not one person tipped it. Now, once again, they might tip later on. Because I do be saying that shit, and then hours later, the tip come in. So, they actually got a long period of time to actually tip you. I thought it was supposed to be within one to two hours. Like, I remember one time I got ready to edit the video four hours after the last delivery, and here comes the tip that came in right in the midst of the end. I would think at least the barn gonna guy that I took to the airport might tip. Now, the folks that I just took to the store and down the street, not so much. But yeah, y'all, that has been my day in a nutshell. Although I wish this shit would have happened on Sunday. <laughs> but hell, I need all the money that I can get. That damn demon on went to work the damn day and I can't even take advantage of the shit because of the fact that I'm out here working. Hopefully she might be working at 10 tonight. I don't know. What in the hell is going on down here where it is? Oh my goodness. I ain't used to seeing downtown backed up like that. I look like we in the city for real, for real. Look like we in Charlotte, North Carolina some damn well. But yeah, y'all, my experience has been going good thus far. Although I'm trying not to get too used to this, because like I said, this was temporary just to save my car. Now that my I done made my car payment, is up to date and shit. Honey, we trying to darn go on. Now I get back to business of finding the job while also trying to get my business together but it's like all these darn gone bills and stuff through this like i got my registration my inspection and my property tax all due this month in addition to my regular bills three huge bills that i'm not used to inspection property tax what was the other one? Oh, registration registration registration, property tax, inspection, and then two tickets. So all of that's totaling like damn near a thousand fucking dollars. The property tax, 200 some dollars. The registration, I want to say it probably is another 200, that's four. Now I think with um, protect my car, my inspection, I'm hoping it's free. If not, I'm gonna have to end up kicking out $40, $50 for that. And 
and then them two damn tickets. Okay, so it's a total of like 500 some dollars, but shit, I'm also factoring in the fact that I need an oil change, a tire plug, and the fact that we might need to go on here and get this darn on AC service. You know, get some Freon up in here. And I read that can cost as much as 200 damn dollars. So yeah, when you think about it, it's like 700 some dollars worth of added expenses that I normally would not have to darn go and get. But we're gonna make do what it do. On the job front, child, I should have known that dream job was too good to be true. Honey, I got a uh I got a notification from Fanville or Thea Alex. See, I can't even pronounce the shit, so it wouldn't even make it made a good for me to even work there. But it's like a doctor's office that has a aesthetics practice inside it. It was averaging $22 to $34 an hour, at least 30 hours a week. I said, hi, damn. Child, that would have got me up. Honey, that would have got me about this raggedy darn on apartment I'm in. So we back to square one, y'all. I don't want to do the reception job. I don't know. If it's still available, I don't know. I might. Only because I don't have to work on nobody at that place. Because that particular one... It's like a it's like we got all these little nail places coming up and you know it's bittersweet because you know I was darn gonna complain and for the longest I was like but well, damn we in a in an area where like the population is 70 plus percent black and all the darn gone nail places are like Korean owned and shit like y'all need to get it together and sure enough I honey I don't put it out there in the atmosphere not everybody and their mama done got themselves a little nail shop or a hair store. We went from not having no black owned hair stores in Fayetteville to now we have multiple ones. Now I wanna know what is going on with this woman right here. This is the second day that this woman is out here darn on flagging people down. Like what in the hell? Make me not want to even cross the street too tough. Huh? It's got a hospital going. And a young person, I, I'm 55 years old, I had a heat stroke. Oh, that wow. bottom number went to 135, and I was dead. The doctor said he saw when God put my soul back in my body, because he had to break in my heart, put me on the ventilator. I need a ride, I'm walking from State Street, just got out of the hospital yesterday morning. I can't make it no further to get to my nurse. Oh, She's wow. driving me to the next street in the name of Jesus. I'm not dangerous or not. What's put the street? The, right this here, this Enoch Street right here. It's not that far. The next street right there. I can't make it because I'm dizzy. Okay, come on okay. in. Okay, thank you. Y'all, I'm going to stop being nice. I should have known it was some bullshit. Got in this car just to darn gonna try to hustle me out some damn change, y'all. I swear, these new kids, I, I miss when darn gonna Mercus Road was just all black. Because now you got these darn gonna. I mean, she was black too, but you know, she was mixed. But it's like, Lord, I, I'm, I'm used to my regular crackheads and shit. The ones that got common courtesy, the ones that done know me and stuff. When I say I don't got it, I got it. Honey, she darn gonna hound me down talking about she need $4. For it's like, girl, I probably would've gave you the $4 because little do she know I got damn near $100 right here. Uh, and ones and 20s and 10s and everything else. But the fact that you don't lie, and it's like, I, and the thing is, another person told me that exact same line. Y'all motherfuckers want to stop playing on y'all damn hell. Talking about she gets got out of the hospital, she on the verge of a heat stroke, this, that, and the motherfucking third, right? It's like, honey, you talking it. And meanwhile, she darn on doing all this talking, right? And it's like going on two minutes. Now, mind you, I'm still in the street. And it's like, well, girl, I can't tell you about to have the signs of a damn stroke. You darn gonna talk. You ain't hopping your ass in this damn car. I'm ushering you to get in the car. You talking about you need to walk one street over 100. The time that it took for you to talk to me, 
you could have walked around the corner. But that was some bullshit. She done ain't gonna have me go one street over just to try to, to calm me out some damn money. Honey, that was not about to happen. Like I said, I would've gave it to her if she wasn't darn gonna lie. Huh? Oh, oh, thank you. Do y'all want anything out of there? Oh, okay. My mother still gets the food truck, y'all. But yeah, y'all, I'll be too nice. Thank you. Try to hook with me out of my darn hard earned money, y'all. But anyways, let me get on, get in this darn house. Y'all feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see y'all soon with more videos. And as far as this demon, I'm going to have a conversation with her in regards to this. Because once again, we are no longer dealing with hard times. And I done been told her to call them church folks. To, because it's like, now where am I about to put this darn on food at? I mean, it was a blessing when we were struggling and shit. But it's like, honey, between me getting damn near $300 in food stamps, her purchasing stamps and shit, we do not need no extra food.